Hello and welcome back viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Tube, and uh, I'm doing this video just to comment on the recent violence which took place uh, at the weekend at Papa Field Stadium. Many of you would already have heard or seen uh, some videos of what happened in a match that was between Zimbabwe's two soccer giants, that is uh, Highlanders and Dynamos. Uh, what happened is that 35 minutes into the match, violence broke out because as Dynamos were leading by two goals to me, uh, there was a penalty claim by Highlanders supporters or by Highlanders which the referee waved away and that incensed also supporters and they stormed the pitch uh, resulting in the match being abandoned. I'm not going to get into the technicalities uh, into the football technicalities of whether or not that was um, a penalty but what I can say is that this kind of violence has a number uh, of um, connotations it's got a number of interpretations, it's got a number of uh, different reactions uh, because mainly of the situation that we find in Zimbabwe but also because of the kind of people, type of people that we've allowed ourselves to become. Uh, so before I delve deeper into that, I would like to request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. So going into the violence, I've seen a number of people who say that uh, this violence was a reaction to the just ended uh, elections in Zimbabwe, where they say, especially those who support the opposition Triple C, where they say the elections were stolen, and they are saying that people found an opportunity to vent uh, through the match. The second uh, of the many interpretations is that uh, people are reacting to the anger of Kukurawundi of the 1980s where an estimated 20,000 predominantly civilians in much Tepeleland were brutalized fatally by the ruling ZANU-PF government. Uh, there are many also who say that this is all because of tribalism. Then there are others who uh, say it's hooliganism. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll go into each of these interpretations and say my own view. This is not the AVG News view. It's view. Now I spoke about the first uh, interpretation which says or seeks to portray this uh, incident at Papa Field Stadium as a reaction to the stolen in court stolen elections by the government of ZANU PF. And they say this this, this depicts the anger of Zimbabweans towards ZANU PF and their frustration over ZANU-PF's alleged rigging of the elections. And they say this is because Zimbabweans are angry. Uh, here is my re response to that. I believe this is a simplistic or opportunistic rather view of this thing. This is the people who are saying this are the ones who are frustrated, not the postal supporters or Dynamo supporters who stormed the pitch. That is my belief. Because the, the, these people who are raising this, uh, uh, this interpretation rather, are basing it on the fact that at some point Highlanders were seen, see, singing uh, a song Chiwenga, Chelusano, Chela Umnanga, Kawutisano, Yarika. Highlanders supporters, like any other, set of fit football uh, fans 
seeing anything that comes to mind which finds meaning in them without necessarily claim is meaning that they support a particular part. And if you saw the time they were seeing that song, they were just enjoying it. It was before the violence. And the violence that, that happened had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the rigging of elections. I'm a Highlander supporter myself. I There was a time when I found myself uh, having to run away from the stadium or having to seek shelter after Highlanders has lost, lost a match. And I will tell you that uh, it's never ever related to any politics. There was a time when we would go to the stadium wearing uh, Zapu 2000 t-shirts written Isifotile and with that bull. It wasn't because we supported that particular party. But of course, Zapu 2000 did have a number of supporters. But when they go to the stadium, because uh, Highlanders has been linked with Zapu and Joshua Nkomo. Bulawayo, Highlanders, Joshua Nkomo, Zapu, and Ingwebo. This is what the people of Bulawayo used to hold so, 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 so uh, highly and then love Moma Chaivana, of course. Those are the things that we would swear with. But even if Zapu would lose elections, we wouldn't start throwing stones or missiles onto the pitch. That is why Highlander supporters would react only when their side has lost, but not only that, but also when they've been frustrated by some decisions that the referee on the pitch would have made, be they correct or wrong decisions, for as long as the majority of Highlanders fans believe that they are being uh, treated unfairly or their club is, or their team is being treated unfairly, they would vent. So, here is my uh, response again. It had nothing to do with the frustration over the week, I mean, over the elections won by Zanu PF and President Emerson Nangagwa. Highlanders supporters who were there are from Bulawayo. Triple C had a clean sweep in Bulawayo because those people have always hated Zanu PF. Uh, they are not even frustrated over that because they knew that this was going to happen and the majority of Highlander supporters are a people we have a nickname we are called Amandebele that is why even having voted Triple C they would still sing anti-Shona songs at stadiums I will tell you, those people don't give a hoot about Nelson Chamisa. They don't give a hoot about Triple C. They voted Triple C because they have got this anger against the Sanu PF. Only that's what they have. Then going on, so this dismisses all the claims, even by Triple C members who would want to try and write on this. It's got nothing to do with their party. It's got nothing to do with Zanu PF. It's got everything to do with that particular match. Okay, then this moves me to the next point that I raised. Oh, rather, uh, the claim that Zim it's because Zimbabweans are frustrated with the stolen elections doesn't hold water because this only happened in Bulawayo. Unless you are saying that Zimbabweans only live in Bulawayo. There are teams that played across the country. There was no violence as a reaction to their losses. There are Zimbabweans all over who were in the country when the results were announced. They didn't do anything about that. There have been calls for, for protest. People don't care about that. So let's not try and write opportunistically on uh, an incident that happened at Papa Fields Stadium. Now the second point or the second reaction was that this is uh, 
because of the unresolved kukura wundi issue. That is close to the point. I've said before that the people of Bulawayo, and when I say the people of Bulawayo, I'm talking about the people of Matebele land. Hold or used to hold in high esteem Bulawayo as a city, Highlanders as a football club, Zapu as a political party, not the current Zapu, the Zapu that was very strong, which had support all over Matebele land. Joshua Nkomo as a political party leader. Bulawayo as a city I've mentioned to that Ingwe, even those who don't drink Ingwe like me, we do miss a time when Ingwe was dominant in the city because it was the cash cow of the city. And then the other thing that they hold is team, in high esteem, which I've already mentioned, but in passing, is being developed. That's why Highlander supporters will always sing pro Ndebele songs. That's why Highlander supporters will always sing sing Abagwa Bulawayo, Mzino Mkuru, Oga Mashobana. Maskulima Oga Mashobana is because we are proud of being Ndebele. That is why Highlander supporters in their nickname are called Amandebele. Uh, there was a time when uh, Takia's British lawyer, former Highlander Central Defender, was still the goalkeeper. When Peter Ngom was still the goalkeeper, they were playing Tenamos again. Somebody hit a shot. I don't remember the Tenamos players at the time. Then Peter missed. He tried to get the ball, he missed it. It landed in the net. When Peter was still lying on the floor, on, on the on the turf, Wambuza, it was at the Soweto's end. He asked Uti, am I British So it's because it doesn't matter what that supporter is developed by tribe or nation or nationality. But the fact that you are a Highlanders supporter, of course, Ndebele is dominating in that support space. You assume the nickname Aman Ndebele. We are Aman Ndebele as Highlanders supporter. And it's got nothing to do with the tribe in that particular space. Of course, it was derived from the name Matebele Land Highlanders. The Highlanders are yes, Matebele Land. So, we then called ourselves Amandebele over in the Lamandebele. I've heard some arguments of people saying, Why is it now being called Timiazu Elonke? And some are saying, When you say Timiazu Elonke, we are talking about Zimbabwe. I'll tell you, yes, there are people all over Zimbabwe who support Highlanders. But the Highlanders support us. Of the many things that I take pride in is that. It's like I'm a Liverpool supporter. I'm the belly. But Liverpool supporters call themselves Scousers based on a tribe that speaks the Scouse language. But now, as a Zimbabwean who's never been to Liverpool, uh, who's not even, who doesn't even know the Scouse language. I'm now called a scouser by those who know that I support Liverpool. And I'm a staunch Liverpool supporter, by the way. So that is the same thing that is highly is happening with Highlanders supporters. That is why the Highlanders supporters will always compose songs in Debele, compose songs around being Debele, compose songs against the Shona. So the issue of Kukura Hundi then arises, gains a traction in that Kukura Hundi killed the Ndebeles. They haven't healed. But when they go to the stadium to face Dynamos, they are going there as Highlander supporters, and then based on the songs that they sing, and that the Dynamo supporters will also be singing back, as you saw, Dynamo supporters singing because 
is because they also believe and understand that the people who support Highlanders are in the main. Devils. We are not going to beat around the bush here. We have to be honest with each other. As always, by the way. So, Dynamo supporters looking at Highlander supporters say Mandeer. Highlander supporters looking inwards call themselves Amandevele. As a tribe, but also as a Highlanders collective. There was there are so many clubs in Bulawa. But they don't have that attachment to the Ndebele. Because Island of what I've mentioned and the main formation of the club by people who led or offsprings of the people who led the Ndebele state and the basis that the club was formed as a way of bringing people together to fight colonialism. So Highlanders supporters will always have that attachment to being Amandebele because in Kaba, Yeklap, Isebundebele, Ikile in being in the belly. Ikile in being in the belly. And because the club was formed as a symbol of resistance to white rule, which is which had destroyed the Ndebele kingdom and made it impossible or had outlawed the meeting of Ndebele's. Uh, King Lopengula's offspring or his uh, nephews then decided, or grandchildren, let me say, decided to form a club that would allow people to meet outside the confines of politics, because that was politics. Then when Kukura Wundi killed Ndebele's, people were predominantly Ndebele, not by tribe, but because they once fell under the Ndebele state. It became a permanent wound in everyone who values being Ndebele. So yes, and I say it, I will repeat again, these are things of high esteem. Highlanders, Bulawayo, Bingdemele, Ingwebu, Love Momai Chavana, amongst uh, a number of others, but these are the main. So, if you attack Love Momai Chavana right now, you can go to Facebook, if you go to Anna, what what you love Mama Chaivana, Mala, who love Mama Chaivana, why you are People are going to attack you. I can tell you, a Highlander supporters are the people of Ulawa and the Belize mainly. You might have others writing upon that, of course, or giving this opinion, but Ulale, you know, say Papa Phil State, you are love. You can play every other song, including those that are what at this particular time. But once you play Love Moma Chaivana, the whole stadium erupts. Because Love Moma Chaivana himself endeared with Highlanders, himself with Highlanders fans, because he was proudly a Highlander supporter. He was proudly a Zapu supporter. He was proud of being the valley. So we found space in our hearts to throw him in and hold him in high esteem. That is why there is never any other material and artist that we have gone out there, prepared a lot of money to say, come back, other than the great love Mama Jaiva. It's because we identify with him as Highlander supporters, we identify with him as Ndebedes, we identify with him as Bulawayans. And you would see who tells a Kumula Wabla and a Paulo Chala in Quebe, Tula in Quebu, where to say Catan or Pusing Gandura. And he endeared himself with us the same manner that Highlanders has endeared itself with us the same way. And we would say at some point, you would sing a Monday, Velatina. Sis Lele Papa Fields Campana, Sis supported Kim would say, Woody, Babula Lizap, 
babula la bazali bethu babula lubula wayo sese sele le highlanders yodwa that's how much we love that club and how much we feel alive watching that club or thinking or talking about that club fine you see how about social media when the school me vele we hate as is into abanye bethu abazenza but zilensika lezi zinto so we don't simplistically look at it ngabo triple c into eziqalizolo lezi we mdc into eziqalizolo this trend of reacting violently when highlanders loses to dynamos at papa fields was there before 1999 it was there kusadla labo rambo we kudlala bo british mloyi wa peter nkomo abo lazarus mambopo abo dumisa ninyoni itena mo zadlalelwa ngabo francis shonai abo angira ichapo abo stanley chirambadare abo peter fanweli abo memory mchera wowa abo vitalis dagawira that violence was there as a reaction to people coming to BF to embarrass Highlanders. I'm not saying it's justifiable, I'm not saying it's okay, but I'm explaining the basis on which this thing happens, not happened. Because I'm telling you, next year, even when my elections are called, if Dynamos comes to BF and beats Highlanders, supporters will find one incidence where the ref will put his foot wrong and that will spark the violence. Forget about all these fines, forget about heavy-handed police officers. This is going to happen. And I've spoken about Kukura Wundi, but it's just one of the incidences. The main problem being after Kukura Wundi, the government that is there failed to build Zimbabwe as a nation. There is no nation called Zimbabwe. I said I'm a, I'm a Highlander supporter. I'm a Liverpool supporter. I'm also a Barcelona supporter. There is a constant among these uh, clubs. The constant of not considering oneself a part of what is so called or of what is called a broader national setup. I will tell you Forget the rest of the people. A Highlander supporter doesn't consider himself a full part of Zimbabwe. Uh, that is mainly because of the failure by the government of the day to build Zimbabwe as a nation, which would then tomorrow make a Highlander supporter feel cutted for as part of Zimbabwe, as part of this nation that many of us want to see because everything that we have taken pride in has been annihilated. Uh, Ubulawa is no longer the cleanest city. Amandebele, uh, Abulawa, uh, there was never any recourse, there was never any restitution. Those who did that have not apologized. Those who did that have said on a number of reports by commissions that they set out themselves. Ingwebu, I say, because of Pozunjengo. Uundevele. So we should go and see we got dilute. I'm not. I'm telling you what Highlander supporters and every Highlander supporter who's listening here will agree with me. Whether they agree with that or not, whether I agree with it or not, but this is the best because if you want to solve this thing, we're not going to solve it with police. We're not going to solve it with threats. We're not going to solve it with Highlanders playing in empty setup. We're not even going to solve it with banning Highlanders or finding Highlanders so much, it will still happen. You can't go back to the final Highlanders match. They will go empty stadium for 10 games. Each game is 11. 
ingaba khona against Dynamo se PF Highlanders ifike idlewe i Dynamo se PF the same thing is going to happen so we need a lasting solution to this we really do so ikugura hundi becomes one of those things which will always raise the anger yetu and will always sing songs around that by we i'm not saying that i am going to partake but i'm saying because this is a collective that is reacting here it's a collective whether mina yungu mkoli is nube because in tanda it doesn't mean i don't feel what these people are feeling i may not pick up the stone and throw because i've never done that i always speak up against that I even even now when this thing happened i went to facebook or even whatsapp i fought with friends fellow islander supporters and said i go go right lock because kubulale qembu ulala but even bona abantu be dynamos or even anybody else watching that happening the first thing that comes to mind is mandera ana fungu amandebela ala nqondo it's because they know what the people who do that eh ba fila njani and ba ngobana I've spoken about Kukura Hundi as an unresolved issue, but it's not the only one. The next being, the next point, tribalism. Right? These two, Kumele Slanganiso, we need to dovetail them into one. Because Kukura Hundi was a tribal army which sought to annihilate a certain tribe for voting a certain party. Now I, I think you will always see how one always leads back to the other, especially if you still have in mind the things that I said. Devil is world in high esteem. Ikukura uh, Hundi was a tribal army led by a political party. It may not have been tribal. Uh, at first when it was set up because it went there to try and attack the base of Zapu. Then when it, it got there, it found that the base of Zapu was Debele's and it became tribal because it killed only people of Matebele and, and Mikles who were identified by the attackers as the Debele. That's why even in some documents that we've been shown there is a statement that was ushered or a decision or a resolution that was taken by Zanu PF that the people of Matebelele need re need re education and the other one which went straight to the point there must be a massacre of the Ndebeles we haven't forgotten our children will not forget and this thing will be engraved on YouTube those who want to bury their heads in the sand can do that but for as long as these issues are not addressed you will continue to have the kind of violence at papa fields which will come to you as if you look at it simplistically as hooliganism i will go to the hooliganism stage but okay let me mix it together yes it's hooliganism it was done by hooligans but based on what based on what then it mixes it with tribalism it mixes it again with kukura wound of the things that we hold in high esteem again those that i mentioned kukura wound and kukura wound is seen as an attack on those things dynamos is seen as an attack on those things don't mind what you are for happy the fact that Dynamos is a team or a club with highest Shona support. Highlanders is the club with the highest Ndebele support. The lines, tribal lines are drawn and the political lines are drawn. Ongabile uh, Ndabalu, what in Harare they voted Triple C as much as they did in Bulawayo. So now it brings us to the tribalism stage where we consider ourselves the best. And when, when we look at dynamos, we see them as shoners. 
And when we get into battle with them, the songs that we sing against the Shona are not uh, sparing Triple C, which one in Harare. We don't, there's never going to be a time where even if Triple C gets 100% in Harare, as it did in, in Chitung is right, uh, Triple C got 100% in Bulawayo, Triple C got 100% in Chitung is. But I will tell you, the people who attacked police and who invaded the pitch at Papa Phil Stadium. All of them voted Triple C, not because they love Triple C, but because they hate Zan. But when you put them together, they knew that the people who are sitting on the other stand are from Harare, and they voted Triple C. But when they look between themselves, there is nothing that combines them, or nothing that makes them one. So the issue of rigged elections doesn't surface because to the people of Blau, we have kicked out Zanu PF so pale. Oh, even Zane Mashona and Vene, we knew they were going to vote Zan. This is our mentality. We knew they were going to vote Zan. So for Vene, when we look at the Dynamo supporter, we see them as one. Amashona. Number two. I want to be Zan whether they voted Triple C. And when we do that, this is a killer part. I will tell you this. Uh, who gift or stalos? Uben a killer part. Ama poso supporters would not see a leader in him. They would see a fellow supporter at first. Ucha missing a killer part. A koge is a Highlanders. Bebe zom chaya. By identifying what this is Nelson Chamisa or this is Fatsai Mahere, inside here, Uset Koge is in the Highlanders. They're going to beat him up, them for television. They're not even going to protect him. Then Bangam Chaya. Then they see who gift after beating up Nelson Chamisa. They would beat up who gift. Because there is no link between Highlanders and triple C. We have to, because I decided really today, we have to tell each other it is. If we want to resolve this thing, because I am seeing people want to to look at it in a simplistic manner. And we're not going to solve. This is the reason why we've always been failing to solve this thing. I don't care even that people love me after this or people lose respect for me after this. But I want us to get to the bottom of this matter. Forgive me for turning this into a lecture, but I want us to get to the bottom of this, of, of this matter. Even when you write a thesis when it's called, consider this. If Nelson Chamis had stormed the state down, invaded the peace in Highlanders' regalia. At that particular time, the people who voted him, Highlanders supporters, were going to beat him up. And if Gifty or Stalos appeared in the Highlanders' regalia, they would beat him up. And if Gifty or Stalos appeared after that, they would beat him up. But when you take it. But if Sbang Lizu, who come, He'd gone in there, even wearing a suit. I'm telling you the truth here. Because or anybody from Zapu had gone in there in Zapu Rikadia, what no so one Because to them, Sabula Wero is up. Sabula Wero Ugulawa, Sabula Wero Bazal, Sebefun was Gulan and the Highlanders. Just into the songs that they sing. And to them, when they look at Dynamos, when they beat Dynamos, they get that satisfaction because the domination or the fight for domination of one tribe by, the, by another has not been stamped by the government of the day. And when they look at Zanopia, they see a party which seeks to extend its domination or which authored and directs the fight for the domination of Devil's by Shonas. And to them, 
when they look at which means the people who are kichima bago bla bla kichimisa who come around are the same people who voted triple C because there was no other alternative to them. But they went there, they beat him up because they see it domination, they remember that. So yeah, Highlanders are a child, a dynamos, a Papa Phil Stadium. These people remember all these nuances. What no 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 oh and oh I'm sure now we was chagula quasi bula la wobla and the other one ke would love to be a rare and we ne it triple C a rare gibo is annually triple C masses go pieces sep you into one uchamiza lum nanga kwa into one. These are the things that we must talk about if we want to resolve this issue. And I hope these guys are listening with uh, an ear and mind which wants to digest this and find lasting solutions. For as long as there is no feeling of unity among the people of Zimbabwe, of which the government is highly responsible to foster in, these things are going to happen. People cannot be united by Joshua Nkomo and Robert Mkabe holding hands in the air to say we are united. People must feel that unity. For as long as they feel dominated in their city, first, Muguti, Sogutwele, Abantu, Ababona, Benama, Aliens, people who remind them of a certain era where a people who spoke the same language killed them for speaking a particular language. These things are going to happen. And then, Night Dynamos is the way to Chai Highlanders, a Papa Fields. Singa Kulima Borev, Yuzo Ichai Papa Field. These people remember to oh, I want to love us to I want to love us to dominate. Now it's me about Sizo Chai Highlanders. Kashega at the service was born in Sutina, and I will address in my hands. But when Highlanders beat dynamos anywhere in the world, they would say, Ah, but that is the Sabasha. Seven as Kulela will get our party when it comes to soak. Ah, I see a child will Then in our child, it dynamos. Then we say, Ah, but as Kulela, and you was Bussy, Bassy Boy was a tattoo, Ula, but get a lapo, Bessie Bullady. Babes was child for to know, and one of the teachers again. This is the feeling. I'm not saying what you mean I'm for this. I'm saying this is the feeling if you want to resolve this issue. Then they remember, oh, my reflux very Wednesday. Kutunyu, I said, I've heard it in a single win. That's why if they lose to any other team, they may be violent based on the decisions of the referee. But if they lose to Dynamo at Papa Field Stadium, the referee becomes a scapegoat of revenging or avenging this loss to Dynamo's, our son enemy, being supported by our son enemy at our stadium. Vele Wunjad. That is why. Even and then we also have the issue there with the abo EPS earlier now why doesn't act on certain decisions or certain issues that affect Highlanders. Then we have the situation no 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 very clearly clearly there is a a serious serious calculated ploy. Oh, it is not true news. There was a time when there was Leslie Quinn. Staunch Dynamo supporter who at the Harare City Council was triple C food, empty C, let me say. You would come up with some pictures that were unfavorable to Highlanders, which was that Highlanders if Karapa man, Jaga Raman, if Chaga cool. Queen would come up. There was a time when Highlanders, that was in 1998, in October, no, it was in November 1998. Where Highlanders were supposed to play Dynamos, who could issue the statement as PSL secretary? He says Uzenzo Moyo was the best striker in Highlanders. Lo Tulani Nube, the Highlanders captain. And they're playing Dynamos. This suspension was supposed to be previous game. Was too late. Then when us so we never would tell that way. Let Dynamos at Papa Field Stadium. He says these guys should not play. 
Islanders Chepesen Rochamulu said no 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 we are going to play these guys we played the corner the was in Sabachaya 2-1. Tabani Masawe, I think that was... Yeah, it was his first season for Highlanders. Dispossessed, you love Monnobe. Taylor Parrott. Caesar Koza, Vampis, you love Monnobe. Penalty, Dynamo's missed a penalty. I think John Cherry got his own penalty saved by Amon Chimbalang. And we felt so good. We is a child queen. But now, afterwards, we began to compose songs about queen and these songs will among queen then we call me samba pump uh lishona you heard some songs there are songs which say what the one is on a sala things like that because we use this to avenge what we feel is an injustice, a tribal injustice being done to us. And that feeling will continue for as long as the government of the day doesn't want to deal with these simmering things or, the, or these things that are causing this simmering hate because they are unresolved issues. Kukura won't be one of them, but not only. People are angry. If you want to understand that anger, listen to what the people of MRP, Mutawa's Republic Party, are saying this is the feeling that the Highlander supporter shares. And if MRP rises to become a party as big as Triple C, you won't see people voting Triple C in Bulawayo. Because to them, Triple C and Zanu are one and the same thing, feathering the same agenda, supporting the same club that is Dynamos. And you saw the former spokesperson Fatima celebrating. So to them, these things are just one. And the only way of resolving this is the government dealing with the elephant in the room, which elephant is not ZANU-PF, but shown a domination, not of Zimbabwe, but of Matepele land. This is me speaking because I interact, I interact with these people, because I live within these people, because I'm part of these people. So, the tribalism, yes, is there, but it's based on grievances, it's based on the anger, based on the historical facts, and fallacies of the state of affairs in Zimbabwe. So, PSL can come up with fines. You can increase security. You can punish Highlanders. You can even abolish Highlanders. But this anger won't be resolved. These people are going to find another avenue to channel the anger. So instead of, instead of sending police officers to spray people with water cannons, instead of sending police officers to arrest these guys that have been arrested, deal with the root cause of this. And the root cause of this is that Debele's do not feel a part of Zimbabwe. You can hate me. You can target me. You can target Highlanders. You can punish Highlanders. But for as long as... And it's not even about ZANU-PF Wupela. It's about the government failing to deal with the things that will make the people of Matebele land, whose nucleus is the Highlander support base, feeling that they are part of Zimbabwe. And for as long as ministers continue uttering speeches with tribal undertones, for as long as government bodies continue to employ people who are arrogant, too arrogant to even speak the local language when they are posted in Matebele land, uh, government offices, this thing is going to gain even more traction.
to say these people are, are not going to stop, therefore we are going to vent. You can kill all of them, but even those that will be born tomorrow will walk the same path. So I decided we have to get to the bottom of this. I don't care. For the first time, I don't care what you are going to say. I'm not even apologetic about this because these are the hard, brutal facts of the situation on the ground. 